إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam A very important episode of the series The Best of Stories from the Quran today It is so important for us to cover this now Even so it will not be a story But it is within the story to understand what to come of the story of our father Adam alayhi salam with Satan. Brothers and sisters in Islam, if you cruise the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will find out or you will reach one certainty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us the human beings to be tested. قال الله تعالى في سورة هود وهو الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام وكان عرشه على الماء وكان عرشه على الماء ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا it is He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who created the heavens and the earth in six days. And His throne, this is at the very beginning. Remember the story of creation? At the very beginning, His throne was on water. And then He created us to be tested. Another verse, fi Surah Al-Mulk, wa hadhi al-ayal umda. تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور Blessed is Allah سبحانه وتعالى who owns everything and he is able to do everything he is the one who created death and life for us in order for us to be tested. Obviously, we are, we were created to be tested. Pay attention to this one. We get tested through two things, or there are two types of tests that we go through as human beings. Pay very much attention because this will lead us to Satan. What Satan has to do with all of this, at the end you will understand. But please give me your heart this episode and don't turn the TV around. Just hang in there. Number one, Al-Ibtila'u Al-Kawni or Al-Qadari. Things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained upon you. Allah test you with that. Whether it is riches, poverty, health, sickness, knowledge, ignorance, and on and on and on. Both, by the way, are tests from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what a lot of people do not understand. قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَنَبْلُوكُمْ بِالشَّرِّ وَالْخَيْرِ فِتْنَةِ We shall test you with what you consider. Sharr is not to be attributed to Allah. Evil is not to be attributed to Allah. Or bad is not to be attributed to Allah. What you human beings consider to be bad. And it's a test. And also we afflict you with what, is, what you consider to be good. There is a beautiful verse in Surah Al-Fajr that I know the majority of you know. And it deals with the issue once it comes to, to wealth. And listen carefully to this. فَأَمَّا الْإِنسَانُ إِذَا مَبْتَلَاهُ رَبُّهُ فَأَكْرَمَهُ وَنَعْعَمَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَكْرَمًا As for mankind, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, here is the key, here is the key, he, ابْتَلَاهُ Test him, with what? He will honor him, give him good status in the society. Mankind will say what? 
Indeed, Allah has honored me. Look at the second verse. وَأَمَّا إِذَا مَبْتَلَاهُ فَقَدَرَ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَهَانًا Look, look, look. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the same verb is used, verb, ibtalahu, test him by making his means what? Means what? Straighten. He does not have a lot of resources. He will say what? Man, ahanan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has humiliated me. What is the first verse? What is the first word after those two verses? Kalla. No. You are wrong. You are wrong. The one with the money, with the status is tested. And the one with the poverty is tested. Both of you are tested. وَنَبْلُوكُمْ بِالشَّرِّ وَالْخَيْرِ فِتْنَةِ The word fitna means what? A test. A test. Now, in order to pass that test, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala afflict you with a calamity, what do you do? Patience. وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون. Patience and give glad tidings to those who are patient. When they are afflicted with a calamity, they say what? Indeed, we will return to Allah subhanahu wa taala. Allah subhanahu wa taala said. وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ We shall test you. Shortage of food, fear, killing, and, and so on. And give glad tidings to the patient. So, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you with a calamity, be patient. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you that إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Be patient and Allah will reward you. What happened if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon you a favor or a bounty? What should you do? Shukr. Be grateful. Be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you do those two, if you are afflicted with a calamity and you are patient, you do not complain about Allah. You don't say, why I'm poor, or why I'm not having this, or why I'm doing this, and you're complaining all the time. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving you something good, you say, alhamdulillah, this is from Allah. Shukran ya Rabb, you say, oh, alhamdulillah, I love you Allah for this. And you speak about it to the people saying, Allah has blessed me with this and this and this. And then you give the right of the people in it, if it is money, pay zakah. And you use what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon you in the obedience to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? If you do this, <clears throat> then you have shown gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, if you show patience when afflicted with a calamity, you have passed. And if you show gratefulness when you are bestowed upon uh, a good uh, thing, a bounty or a favor, then you have passed. And you know what? Hadith Suhaib. Ibn, Sin Ibn Sinan, Abu Yahya, or the hadith of Sahih Muslim, قال صلى الله عليه وسلم, and this hadith will then apply to you, عجبا لأمر المؤمن فإن أمره كله له خير. I'm amazed at the lifestyle of a believer. It's all good. ولا يكون ذلك إلا للمؤمن. And this can only apply but to a believer. What? إن أصابته سراء شكر. When something happens, good good thing happened to him. I will say الحمد لله. Allah has blessed me with a الحمد لله a nice house, a nice family. الحمد لله. Allah has blessed me with a good job. الحمد لله. Allah has blessed me with a good wife, a good husband, a good children. ما شاء الله. يعني he's grateful. He's grateful. And only I tell you something. قال الله تعالى الله سبحانه وتعالى said وقليل من عبادي الشكور only few do this people think this is easy but only people only few will do this and in the other hand وإن أصابته ضراء صبر and when a calamity befalls him he is patient he becomes patient and he becomes a winner in both cases.
Because brothers and sisters in Islam, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that anything that befalls a believer is always good for him. Always, it will expiate your sins. Huh? It even, hatta shawka, even a thorn that goes through your body, it will, if you're in the kitchen, for example, and then you turn like this, and then your head hits the, 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 the kitchen uh, uh, door or something, huh? and you say, alhamdulillah, huh? you get a hasana for that. Fa you know. So if you do this, you have passed the first test, which is the test in the area of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained upon you, whether it is good or what you consider to be bad. If you're patient when calamity befalls you, you're successful. If you are grateful when a bounty befalls you, you are successful. Then you have passed the first test. What about the second test? Ah. Oh. This is the most difficult test, brothers and sisters in Islam, that faces all of us. You know what it is? La ilaha illallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created jinn. Jinn again is Satan and his gang. And, and we know that amongst them there are Muslims. Unrighteous and ins but to worship. The people of language, Ahlul Lugha Yaqulun, if you have ma wala in a, a, a paragraph, in a, in, a, in a sentence, and then it's followed with an exception with illa, huh? this, me, this uh, basically means what we call al hasr wal qasr, caging, caging, caging. What that means, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you and me but to worship him. Ya Allah, how many, how many human beings went astray? They don't even remember Allah. They don't even pray the five daily prayers, Muslims. Muslims. And we're not talking about non-Muslims, Muslims. Ya Akhi, just look the salah when it was first prescribed. How many salah a day? Go back to Hadith Anas, Hadith Al-Isra wal Ma'raj. 50 salah a day, if it would have stayed like this, you would have to pray every 27 or 8 minutes. This is why Allah created you, brothers and sisters.